Nothing has captivated the Destiny community more than SIVA. Even though its time in Destiny was short, nothing has been asked about or had more confusion over its purpose than these nanobots. Every week you'll see a Reddit thread asking about SIVA powers or clinging to any slight hint that SIVA may return again. Personally, I love SIVA. I love the aesthetic. Wrath of the Machine is my favorite raid of all time and in my opinion, the best Destiny 1 raid. So nothing I say about SIVA, good or bad, is because of a general dislike of these little nanobots. I want Wrath of the Machine in Destiny 2, and if Bungie could make a good story revolving around the rediscovery of SIVA by an enemy, I would welcome it. That being said though, the SIVA we all know and love from Rise of Iron is most likely not ever going to be in game again. The overall story of that DLC is of little importance to the major overall plot of Destiny. In fact, it really can't come back from a story point of view. We destroyed the Replication Chamber. So all the SIVA that had the Resputin Directive has been destroyed. And even if Resputin wasn't dead, he has no reason to reprogram SIVA to do exactly what we saw in Destiny 1. There's hundreds of planets that may have SIVA on them from humans trying to escape the collapse, but not a single one will act like we saw in game. But Sticky, what about Outbreak Perfected? That has SIVA in it and it's red, so it has to be similar to Rise of Iron SIVA. In everything but color, they are different. Rasputin gave the Cosmodrome SIVA the directive, consume, enhance, replicate. And if you look at the flavor text on Outbreak, its directive is directive equals kill wall enemies equals present execute directive. Those are two very, very different functions on how the nanobots will behave and react to outward stimuli. One was told to breed and take over everything. The other was told to kill if there are enemies around. And due to the nature of how to program the directive of SIVA, it is very doubtful that any random person can reprogram it. The Devil Splicers did not give it a directive, they just accepted the current SIVA directive that Rasputin had placed in it hundreds of years prior. You can even see this on the Destiny 1 lore where SIVA slowly takes over Axis Prime's mind and body. Consume, enhance, replicate. Life requires death, requires life. All in an unending circle. The expenditure of countless generations, slouching blindly toward uncertain ends, each step forward a mere accident by chance. But this, this is different. This strange complexity requires only the will to wield it. Consume, enhance, replicate. That is Axis Prime discovering SIVA. And then later on we see it take over his body. It rises, I see clearly from its eyes, and breathe with its lungs, and stride with its legs, and kill with its hands, and yet it is not me. Consume, enhance, replicate. I am me, and yet I am it. Consume, enhance, replicate. This is a paradox. Consume, enhance, replicate. And before we get into more about SIVA, I do feel like I have to say this. Exotic ornaments mean nothing. Doesn't matter how many times the community dusts off its Pepe Silva board and polishes their spin foil hats, SIVA ornaments and their look are meaningless to what story content will be in game. SIVA is just a really cool aesthetic and works well on some gear and weapons. And if you haven't noticed, SIVA is already back in game. It's been in game since Lightfall. I think a lot of people missed it. So let's go over the confusion about SIVA and its function, because I would like to clear a few things up. SIVA is not a villain, or even part of the darkness. It's a tool. That's it. SIVA is no more dangerous than a hammer. If someone uses a hammer to build a house, it's perfectly safe. But if someone uses a hammer because he caught his wife in bed with his best friend Carl, then the hammer is being used as a weapon. The intended use makes all the difference. SIVA cannot take over and control living organic beings, only technology. We were not infected by SIVA leading up to Rise of Iron. The whole Owl Sector incident were medical nanobots also created by the Bray Corporation. The medical nanobots that Bray was testing on innocent victims escaped containment, resulting in one of the weirdest and most fun times in Destiny 1. I call them victims because, well, while they may have offered and to be tested on, the results were erratic. Here's some examples. 
Magnificent 2.0 caused blue insects to flood out of a woman's ear and eventually she began to float. Brilliance 3.2 caused a man to go into a coma for some time before regaining consciousness. Upon awakening, he jumped up on his bed and started singing and dancing and could never stop. Fortitude 3.1 caused a man's voice to slowly disappear. Glory 2.1, we don't know a lot, but that we do know that the person caught slightly paranoid. The Iron Lord bodies were also not being infected by Siva. Even Ghost says, Siva was controlling their suits, not their organic bodies. And lastly, Siva will never be a subclass. It's not a high element of the universe like every other light and dark power in Destiny. It's a technology. I know a lot of people want Siva powers, but they will have to play a different game if they want to be a Techromancer class. Siva is not a power. So what is Siva then? If it's not a villain and it's not a power, what exactly is it? Construction material. That's it. It's just nanobots created to make colonizing other planets easier. Clovis wanted to make a mechanical version of radiolarian fluid he saw in the Vex. It could not only build worlds, but repair damaged armor and weapons on the battlefield. The issue is that Clovis Bray never put in a kill switch. So if Siva is only a construction material, then what exactly happened to the Iron Lords? Why did Siva cause an entire section of the Cosmodrome to go into lockdown? Two reasons. Rasputin? and Clovis Bray's stupidity. Clovis Bray was so overly confident about Siva, he never put in a kill switch in case Siva was used the wrong way. And Rasputin knew how dangerous Siva was and did everything he could to stop it from falling into the wrong hands. He gave the replication chamber on the Cosmodrome one directive, consume, enhance, replicate. Siva was only supposed to stop the Iron Lords from leaving the chamber with samples of it. Felwinter tried to communicate with the Warmind, called it Rasputin, consume, enhance, replicate, said he could make it understand, tell it we meant no harm. Rasputin didn't answer with words. And if it wasn't for the techno-savvy Devil Splicers wanting to become machine gods themselves, Siva would have stayed buried deep below the Cosmodrome. They hated the idea of worshipping servers and wanted to be gods. A large part of the Devil Splicer doctrine that drove them to use Siva was the desire to remove the need and reliance on servitors. Splicers in the Fallen House used technology to enhance their bodies. So when they found Siva, it was very easy for Siva to attach itself to them. What is this complexity? Consume, enhance, replicate. The machine of a thousand parts fashioned by a single mind. From where does such complexity arise? What does the creation of a mind require? In the long march of life's procession, order is created from disorder. The rise of complexity is not promised. Such things are not inevitable. And yet here I stand. Consume. Enhance. Replicate. Axis. Archon Prime. Siva is not your enemy, unless someone makes it your enemy. A lot of people ask what are the chances Siva will be in game again, and to that I say 100%, because it already is. Geoma Essi, research log, The Veil. Vale. We shouldn't settle here, it's a mistake. But Maya is insistent that we have to build our long-term shelters near The Veil. Vale. We're almost done constructing an enclosure around it. Once the field emitters are up, we should at least be safe from its radiation. The Siva tech Maya had on the Exodus was a lifesaver. Not only for building the enclosure, but shelters, tools. We'd be dead without it. But it still wasn't fast enough. The entire city of Niamuna was built using Siva. Maya Sundaresh had some on the Exodus ship that landed on Neptune. There, they programmed and used it for its intended purposes, to build shelter. When you hang out at Limonene Harbor, getting one shot by a Thresher, remember, you are standing on Siva. When you hang out in the Thrillodrome, trying to beat Zavala's high scores, you are spending time in Siva. This is Siva being used as it was always supposed to be, 
construction. Even from the start, Braytech had no ill intentions for the use of SIVA. Let's get right to it. How can Clovis Bray help the Exodus project? We found a way to push our matter encryption technology even further. Habitats, equipment, repairs of all kinds, all of these things can be made from one material. SIVA doesn't expire, degrade, or forget. It can remain dormant, even on long voyages. Nearly any problem a deep space colonist could have, SIVA can fix it. And how long do the effects of SIVA last? Well, SIVA requires no external power source, so forever. Just give it a directive and it won't stop until it gets a new directive. This sounds like it could be invaluable to Exodus colonists, but Malahate has some concerns. General, poorly worded or malicious code is the fault of the programmer, not SIVA itself. Dr. Bray, I'm sure you've realized SIVA's applications extend beyond colonizations. I'm not sure what you mean, General. Is this still about the Exodus program? The Exodus program would be interested in exploring SIVA's defensive applications. General, my team did not intend for SIVA to have military applications. Willa, some of history's greatest inventions began as unintended side effects. SIVA was never supposed to be used to harm anyone. So SIVA is back and currently in-game. It may not be what people expected, though. SIVA as an enemy may not have been in Destiny for as long as the Hive or the Taken or even the Scorn, but it had major impact on the Destiny community. Personally, I think that is okay. Not everything needs to be long and drawn out. I know not everyone played Destiny 1, but those that did, having a one-off DLC is something I wish happened a lot more. I know Destiny is coming to the end of its 10-year light and dark story saga, but I hope we get to see more one-off stories going forward. Having every single thing connected and being brought back up years later kind of ruins some of the magic that past stories held. So while I would enjoy another SIVA enemy storyline, I do hope we have seen the last of it. I want to keep the amazing memories and intrigue I felt fighting through the Plaguelands many years ago. Thank you guys for watching the video, and if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, and remember, Hunters never die. Hunters never